Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 22nd to the 28th of November 2021. We've had quite a hectic couple of weeks and this one feels a bit more relaxing with lots of positive energy coming in and subtle changes and alliances and challenges behind the scenes but nothing that really stands out. So we begin the week with the Sun moving into Sagittarius and later in the week we'll have Mercury moving into Sagittarius as well. So we're starting to wrap up the Scorpio season and Scorpio opposite Taurus, that's an axis. And as we come into December, the north and south node of the world will also be moving into Scorpio and Taurus. So the north and south node of the world are less personal but when something happens to align with the North Node, that's when we feel that we're at the right time, the right place. Our ideas and our energy can be accepted. And there's a general sense of ease with those alignments. So this week the Sun aligns with the South Node, opposite the North Node. And this is on Monday, Tuesday. And the South Node is having a look at where we've come from as a group. So there's a real feeling this week as the sun goes into Sagittarius of connecting to inner truth and wisdom, our deep knowing and guidance, looking to the past for what's always been true and good and right, but not getting stuck in the past because the real mystery system teachings aren't meant to stay in a certain time zone. We're supposed to take that wisdom and apply it to the current times that we're in. So a bit of a feeling all year really with the past versus the future as we've had some significant squaring off between Saturn, old ruler of Aquarius type times and Uranus, the new ruler of Aquarius showing us where we can manifest in a timely fashion and contribute to the current times. So the recent new and full moon in Scorpio and Taurus have rounded up their business but given us a hint of what's to come when the nodes move into those signs. But on the forward-looking aspect, Sagittarius wants to get to the point, wants to work from the centre and radiate outwards and deliver a message and an energetic wave that can be felt. So that's Monday and Tuesday really, looking at what you know to be true, what's held the test of time, but then having a look at where we're going and how we're creating in a very new way. By Wednesday we have the last day of Mercury in Scorpio. So Mercury moves into Sagittarius on Thursday and that only leaves Mars in that sign. So Sagittarius season begins in earnest and that will require a change of perspective. There's a real feeling of breakthrough on Wednesday but it comes from a place of trust. The ending of an old system to be replaced by a new one and that's where the vision comes in. We need to all be in our power to bring in a new and more fair and equal system. But somehow the penny drops here with Mercury, something significant, a revelation of some sort, which will both show us what we need to leave behind and a new way of thinking, tuning into higher thought forms to create a more positive future. So by Thursday, Mercury moves into Sagittarius. This has a very victorious tone and a very confident energy. Sagittarius loves truth. So what is truth? People talk about my truth, but there's certain eternal truths that we can really stand strong on and will support us. And there's a feeling that this will affect the news sources as well. Some news sources coming through that are more honest, balanced and fair, as the media is very much up for a revival. At the moment, we've got thousands of channels all speaking from their angle. But truth can't be suppressed. It's got the feeling now that, especially with Saturn in Aquarius, that the truth will always come to the surface. So as we cusp Scorpio, deep and piercing forensic truth-seeking inward energy, and we step over the threshold of Sagittarius, we're going from water to fire. It's a chance here to listen deeply to both our intuitive knowing and our impartial mind. And combining these two, we're really tuning into our power. So very deep there in the middle of the week, an alchemical balance. And the whole week really, next couple of weeks, is gearing us up to be very self-reliant. Having done our own research, but also having taken the time 
to connect deeply with our intuition. The energy gets bolder by Friday. Strength, knowledge, power, radiance, positive energy. But really there's a sense here of a victory that's already been won, but we might not feel it yet. So sometimes information can be overwhelming and things can be portrayed in a very negative fashion to the point where we can take on that negative perspective and view things as just going from bad to worse or that something will never end, something will never get better. But this is a year where we've learned about the law of attraction and the law of quantum manifestation. If you can keep your frequency tuned to a positive potential future, then even though we're not really seeing the in-your-face evidence of that yet, there are actually many positive things going on and a feeling of inevitable victory. Then by the weekend, slight focus on Venus in Capricorn, as that will be a retrograde taking us into 2022. Working away on what you love and what you value, staying focused and being strategic, seeing that thing that you love and value as a work in progress, but enjoying the daily progress of it, prepared to make changes and adjustments along the way, but centered in the heart as to what you love, why you love, and why you're actually spending your energy there. And I feel this is another way to clear negative beliefs, is once you really are connected to something that you love, that is a frequency that's easily maintained, it's like an inner fuel. And when the doubts or daily moods come along, just let them pass like clouds. If you meet any blocks, it's just in order to restructure. But we're heading towards a couple of months of real creativity on all levels. Don't rush to the end zone. How will this look when I've finished it? Just trust in the process. And most of all, enjoy the process. So like I say, fairly nebulous week there. Nothing really standing out to me in the planetary movements apart from going from Scorpio to Sagittarius. I've had a very deep month, including the eclipse. And this feels like bursting through. But bursting through to a potential that we've actually created. So letting go of the idea that life happens at us and fingers crossed that things will get better and really embracing the fact that you're creating that better, not getting distracted, not lowering your frequency, not just going along with the main narrative, but really checking in with yourself where you're at, what you know, what you feel, a fusion of heart and mind, but letting the creativity flow forwards because that's often the most pleasurable part of life. As we're coming out of the work-focused survival mentality and into some very strange and wonderful waters, what if I'm creating in this moment the beauty that I'm stepping into in the next? So the theme of the winter is going to be to learn to be present, to be appreciative, to be grateful, to know what you love, why you love, and then to attend to that daily creative process while transcending the negative mind, not getting caught up in the whirlwind of overstimulation, but knowing in your own mind who you are and what you stand on and for. That's really the theme for this week. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available one-to-one -one for chart readings, coaching sessions, and lessons in astrology, numerology, and more. All of those are available as gift vouchers as well, as this is something that can really have a significant impact on someone's life and stay with them for a long time. So I give vouchers, I send the chart, there's something for them to receive. But as we're coming into the holiday season, then do contact me if you're interested in any of those for yourself or for a loved one, zoehind7 at gmail.com. I stay very flexible as to what you or the other person actually wants to get out of the session, very happy to customise to suit what you desire. We'll also be wrapping up the Transcending the Negative Mind video series, so if you haven't checked that out, please do. It's on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro, with these videos, and we'll be producing the last one in the series for Sagittarius this week. So that's 12 practical videos on how to get out of your mind, how to rise up and tune into higher thought forms, centre in the heart, really start to create that positive energy 
that creates your future. So take it easy this week, have a rest, just tune in yourself, see what subtle energies you feel according to your chart. We've got a couple more big weeks coming up, so this is the perfect opportunity to just nest and centre, practice presence and active creating. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.